find the grains of poke and return here. Creating this potion will ensure your assignments will upgrade to tier 4. Very soon you'll become the warrior that you've always been destined to become. I promise I won't let you down. What was, that? what was that? I'm sure it's nothing. It's not, it's Let's just go Let's check just it out. Excuse me, sorry. Ugh, we are talking. It's a tail! It's a tail. Where'd it go? Where did what go? What are you looking at? Oh, nothing. I've got to go turn Master Grey. Hey Ben, where are you going in such a rush? I can't explain now. I'll come back soon. Miss Gray. Miss Gray. What's the matter, Haven? You'll not believe what I just saw. Describe to me what you saw. It was like nothing I've ever seen before. Go on. It was very small with spikes. And it was the colour of the midnight sky. I only saw what I think is its tail, but it could have had wings. It's certainly nothing from our land. Ugh. I can't bear to think about what I think it is, based off of your descriptions. Did you hear what kind of sound it made by any chance? It made sort of dragon grunting sound. But the dragons don't live on this side of the border. It's just impossible to be them. I need to meditate on this. Come back tomorrow morning. I will gather my resources and see where I can guide you. I didn't think it was such a threat. Are we safe, Master Grey? You should get going now. As you wish. spell, but very, very dangerous. So you will not be using it for a very, very long time. What? Life would be so much easier if I just knew that spell. Your time will come, just be patient. But what I've called you for this morning is a very, very top secret mission. Is this my first ever duty as a warrior? Not quite, but you're a very high trusted apprentice. Let me just gather my things. you on this journey, there is a bag and a map. May I ask, what am I even doing on this journey? Oh yes, I think I found the creature that you described. And I went through my research and I think I found the origin of this creature. Where is the origin? It is unknown to me the location of these creatures, but I think I know someone who can help. Who would that be? I first heard about these creatures when I was studying the history of dark magic. They are very dangerous, beware, and you must not tell a soul. Keep quiet. The pet you are seeking is the Queen of Greenoria. Greenoria is the village of the fairies. I've never left Acorn Bishop before, but I understand what I must do. Thank you, Master, for trusting me on this mission. What must I discuss with her? Please inform her about the situation of the ducks. Ducks? Describe everything. 
She's the only one who will know the origins, and be safe out there. I understand. You must leave at once. Acorn Bishop is asleep. Since it is dawn, you will go unnoticed. You have three days to complete the mission, and I suspect you will need more help than just yourself. These creatures will get far out of control if you don't complete it in three days. But I'm capable of doing this on my own, you can trust me. I do, but in order to learn more, you must accept help from others. We have talked about this, Haven. I know that might be the Acorn Bishop kind of way, but you know I'm not from here. I'm different from your other apprentices from Acorn Bishop, you've got to understand that. You're very stubborn. I didn't mean goodbye and good luck. I've got this. Where are you going at this type of morning? I'm leaving town for a bit. Wait, is this your first out of town mission? I don't know how long I'm going to be gone for. your flower shop visits put this in your bag to remember me <laughs> you're so dramatic if you're coming back you're paying full price of that by the way you're making me not want to come back now what kind of a gift is that you see I have bills to pay see you soon saga See you soon. May I enter? The Queen isn't expecting anyone right now. You see, it's rather important I talk to her right this minute. You must have confirmation at least two weeks in advance before meeting with the Queen. Or you must be sent by a member of the Royal Committee. What do I do? You're not from here, are you? No. But I was sent by Master Grey of Acorn Bishop. Why didn't you just say that? What's your name? Haven. Haven Ivy Cordelia of Acorn Bishop. I'll be one moment, Haven. Your Majesty. Yes, what can I help with? Sir Master Grey of Acorn Bishop has sent a pet by the name of Haven. Do these names mean anything to you? Master Grey is a dear friend of mine, very loyal in his days of duties here. He was an ex-guard, you see. Haven would like to speak to you. Should I let her in? Of course, I haven't heard from Master Grey in years. You may enter. Thank you, but what changed your mind? I'm not authorized to give you that information. Okay then. Haven, what do you wish to speak to me about? There has recently been a sighting of unknown creatures that we believe are darts. And I have been told that you know their origins? Oh goodness, we must look into this right away. Please describe me everything. How long have they been there? What are they doing? They've been lurking our village. I only saw them for the first time yesterday, so I believe they've only been there for maybe a day or two. What have you been instructed to do about this? I would have thought he would know everything about these death creatures. That's very strange. I'm sure he knows what he's doing. He was very good in his days of protecting our ancient kingdom. 
He never talks about his past with me. He was very unsure of it all, which is not like him. I shall provide you with all the resources to adventure to Cloud Duff. That is where you'll find the home of the Duffs and how they've been escaping all the way to Acorn Bishop. Do not return until the problem is resolved. Of course, Queen Bluebell. Queen Bluebell. You will need assistance, as this is a very dangerous expedition. Therefore, I nominate Leaf beside you. You called upon me? Yes, we have a guest. I would like you to meet her. This is Haven. Excuse me, but I hardly see how this is necessary for Leaf to accompany me. You see, doing this mission has also given me experience to become a warrior. And if Leaf came, it wouldn't show my full potential. I just want to honor my tribe and show my full capabilities. Haven, do you, I know you want to prove yourself to your village, but you can use this as an advantage to show your other capabilities, like how you can be a good asset to a team. I guess you might be right, yeah. I will not be providing the resources to a lone pet, because there's more of a chance you could be unsuccessful and nothing will come from it. Please trust me, dear. Alright, when do we leave? Tomorrow at dusk, no one will be watching and no one will be leaving town. The last thing we want is for anyone to panic. Do you understand? Yes. Yeah, I do. Now that you're comfortable with the idea of Leaf joining you, I think it is best the whole guards come with you, just to be careful. I've got to agree with Haven, that's very unnecessary. I just nominate myself to come. Oh yeah, I think it is best you just stay here, you've not had your full training. Can we talk in private soon? I'll leave it up to Leaf to escort you to your room that you'll be staying in for the night. Thanks, that's very helpful. Here's your room. If there's anything you need, just let me or one of the guards know. Thanks. What about Imberly? What about Imberly? Imberly has refused all the help I've tried to give her. We give her food to help support her all the time, but we can't force her to eat but it. But it'll help her so much. She just doesn't know that it'll help her. What don't you understand? She simply does not want it. Yeah, but you're not hearing me out. Just give it to her. We're talking about a starving pet for crying out loud. You're taking on people's problems more than you can handle. You can try offer your help to someone, but if someone doesn't want it, you can't do anything about it. You've done what you can. It's just wrong. It is impossible to help everyone, that's why I focus on just Green Aurea. But why? You have the resources to help more than that. You know how they ended with Emberspell Grove. It's destroyed. I still feel guilty about it. That's why I'm taking on this mission with Haven. Emberly's the only pet who survived other than us in Master Grey. What is she talking about? That was 50 years ago. You can't keep beating yourself up for it. You did the best you could at the time. I focus on the needs of our people in Greenoria. That's my role, and I can give them an amazing quality of life. Sometimes people don't know what's out there and what's really good for them. People just accept things for what they are, than what they could be, or what they actually want. <laughs> it will exhaust you trying to figure out what everyone wants, because at the end of the day, you don't know what they want. And with this whole Emberly thing, she's only considering what she's wanting to, and that's not your problem. I'll prove to you that I can help people see what they really need. How are you planning on doing that? By going on this mission with Haven, I can find a cure for them. I'm tired of being at the back of the action. I want to help and make a difference. And I can't do that if I just stay in my room. You're not in your room, you're in the throne room. Come on, Mom, you know what I'm saying. I understand what you're wanting, and maybe I have been a little protective. A little? I feel like Rapunzel out here. Okay, okay, I get the picture. Maybe this mission will be good for you. Thank you, Mom. Can I at least send one guard? Moment ruined. I'll go pack my things. Wait. Yeah? I love you, Elvia. I love you too, Mom. Oh no, gotta run, gotta run! Hi, Haven. By any chance did you hear any of that? Um, 
You did, didn't you? Yeah. Well, I came down here to tell you, but you already know that I'll be joining you on the mission tomorrow. Yeah, well, I better get to sleep. See you tomorrow. Wow. wow. I'm going straight to sleep. I hope Healthy is having a good beauty sleep while I woke up early first. Where have you been? We agreed to meet before sunrise and it's about to rise soon. We should get going. Right, maybe I did just get here a bit early. It's alright, it shows that you're committed to coming on this mission. Well, I wish you two the best of luck on your mission, and I hope to see you soon. Oh, you need to keep your horse here. But we'll get to Cloud Earth even sooner if I ride Angelique my horse. I'll get Zelina to look after her. Bye, girl. <laughs> Bye, girl. Come on, Angelique. Bye. Do you have a map to Cloud Duff? Yeah, I'll just get it out of my bag. Cloud Duff's over here, and we're over here. Have you been to Cloud Death before, Elvia? No, but I've heard many warriors tales take place there. Warriors? Warriors. Let's get going. Yeah, good idea. Bye. Wait up, Haven. Did I do something wrong? The whole time you've been quiet and storming off without me? Like, what's up? <sighs> I don't know how to say this nicely. You can leave. What? Just say you helped me or whatever. And prove your mom wrong, because that's the only reason we're here anyway, isn't it? This is a mistake. I genuinely want to help. The only reason I'm not doing this alone is because I had to ask the Queen for the location of the ducks. This is my mission, remember? I came to the Queen, and you just got added along in the equation somewhere. Come on, we should just focus on finding the darts and put this disagreement aside. Ugh. I'll find another way to help. I'll find I just need to find a way to get over this cave. mission aren't you it's haven but yeah i just need to find elvia you see i found this passageway up there and i think it might lead to cloud duff up there oh there's a few hundred meters back there but to get through this passageway yeah i would need elvia because she could fly over it wait why isn't elvia with you Weren't you assigned this mission together? Well, yeah, but we had a disagreement. You let a disagreement stop a mission that you were assigned by Queen Bluebell. Are you insane? Well, when you put it like that... 
That's because it's selfish. Well, that's a bit blunt. Oh, I don't mean to get annoyed, but it's because green ori is important to me, and it should be to you too. The reason I'm here has got nothing to do with green ori. They make it about protecting your land or whatever, but there's more people outside of Acorn Bishop. Oh, I didn't mean it like that. I mean, like, green ori isn't my number one priority. You're not even on duty. Why are you here? I became a guard for this reason. It's to protect people, like my whole family does, but you just seem Are to you saying I need protecting? No, 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 you've proved that you're well over capable. I'm talking about this mission. It's important to me outside of just my job. But seriously, why are you doing this mission? You seem like you don't care about it at all. Once again, you're being a bit blunt. But I'll tell you, it's because I want to be a warrior. I already mentioned that though, but someone obviously wasn't listening. There's got to be more than that. I guess it gives me a sense of importance. I was neglected in my old tribe, and in this one, I just feel connected to it, you know? Who were your old tribe? Sunset Masquerade. I guess my family was blinded by the surface level desire of being worshipped, you know? They would do whatever it takes, I mean anything, to be looked at like a god. I haven't been back since Master Grey saved me from my old tribe. Wow, I had no idea. I just want to return the favour. What about you? Do you really want to be a guard, or is that just what your family lined you up to do? I chose it. This job really fulfills me. My family was just the one who mentored me, but apart from that, this is all my direction. Sounds like you're really close with them. Yeah, I am. It's gonna get dark soon. I'll go get some firewood. Can I look at the map? Yeah, sure. You're going the wrong way. You have got to be kidding. But before we go anywhere, you still have to rest. You mentioned you had a sprained foot. I've only known you for a day. How do you know what's best for me? Jeez. <sighs> I'm just stressed. Also, I have one question. What is it? You and Nelvia, you seem very... Close? Yeah. How long have you guys known each other? I've known her since I was little. She's basically like a sister to me. Our families have always been close. Oh, that's nice. I was just wondering. Oh, no, if you're wondering, I don't think of her anything more than just a friend. Okay. I think I heard a myth that there was a beast back here. A beast? Why have I never heard of this? Well, I don't know, it's just a campfire story, but you never know. We should get running. And we need to find Elvia. Yeah, let's go. You almost forgot the map, go get it! Ugh, okay. My memory at the moment. Now let's get out of here. You're literally making my foot worse. That's the goal. Have I ever mentioned to you how considerate you are? Oh, all the time. Oh, shut up. That just makes me want to talk more. No one cares. What is this place? It's been abandoned for years. Does everyone forget it exists? What happened here? Long story. Making yourself at home, I see. I can't sleep. That's because you've been trying to sleep for a total of one minute. Yeah, and I want to be asleep right now. 
just be patient. Is my want to sleep a joke to you? Or leave? I don't know about you. But my eight hours a day of sleep are very important. And if you keep talking, you won't fall asleep any faster. You might have a point. Ugh. Ugh. Elvia, how did you get here? Well, it's about time. Good to see you too. I went looking for her while you were asleep. I figured you couldn't go anywhere because of your foot. So I thought you'd be okay if I went for a few hours. When did YouTube happen? Ugh, I don't even want to ask. Anyways. I made a potion that'll heal your foot so we can continue on the mission. Pass it over. I put it in your bag so I wouldn't lose it. Luckily, Cloudduff is really close to this village. What Leaf didn't tell you is that the reason the village is destroyed is because, well, there was a fight between the Duths and Grunoria. It was 50 years ago, but our village used to be huge and radiant with happiness. But many were injured and fled to get safe. I had no idea they caused so much damage to Grunoria. That's why we need to get to the bottom of this. Thank you for your hospitality, Leaf. But we should really get on our way. I'm feeling a lot better instantly. Keep the potion bottle. We never know if we'll need it. Good idea. I'll put it in my bag. Anytime. If you ever need anything, I'm here to help. We get it. You like her. Now let's get moving. I'll just meet you outside. I should get going. Wait. I gotta go. Hey, can we talk? It's about earlier. Oh. I didn't mean to mess up the mission or what was becoming a friendship. I guess I just got caught up in my own reasons of coming here and forgot it's not just my mission, it's not just about me. It's about everyone's safety and your reasons too. It really bothered me how you stormed off for a day and sent us back a day because we only have three days for this and now you know about the abandoned village you can see why this is so important to me because the deaths took everything away from me and Green Aurea, and all I want to do is just make things right again. My only reason of coming here isn't just to prove myself to my mom. Yes, that's a bonus. Yeah, I get that and I messed up. Will you forgive me for all this? I understand if you want. Yeah, we all make mistakes. I've been there, but I just really want to finish this mission. Yeah, I promise. I won't set us back anymore. You already set us back with the time you spent with Leaf in there. Oh, shut up! Oh, I'm gonna enjoy teasing you about that. What happened to not wanting to know, huh? Well, you calling us friends. That was quite sweet. It was to make a point, and yeah, we're besties. Come on. <laughs> Elvia. Yeah? I think we're here. Keep your eyes out for deaths. They could be anywhere. Divide and conquer? Okay, I'll go left, you go right. Okay, yell out if you hear absolutely anything. Will do. Make sure you do the same. Find a duff? Not quite, but I did find a force field. A uh, force field? My thinking is it used to keep them trapped inside. Maybe this spell expired or something. If it was to do with the battle 50 years ago, it makes sense. Maybe the magic from the force field recently expired, and that's what caused them to escape. Yeah, 
It's a really long way to my village from here. What do you think we should do? I say we get rid of them for good. From the sounds of it, they've done so much damage, and that's the best way to make sure nothing else happens in the future. Yeah, we should give them a chance though, and see how they react to us being here. What are you suggesting? Let's just see what they do first. There might not even be deaths here. Not with an attitude like that. Was that you? No. I'll, I'll go check it out. <laughs> Should I stay here? Take the map, I've got to go. Here goes nothing, here goes nothing. <gasps> I've got it. It's got eyes of ember. What does that have to do with anything? There's this old tale in Glenoria of the greatest enemy from thousands of years ago. And what makes the eyes of ember so special? I'm getting scared being this close to a deadly creature. Its eyes are a symbol. Oh, I think I know what you're talking about. It's the symbol in the dark magic book. Yeah, I wish I had my potion supplies. It's a one ingredient potion. I think the creature's getting angry and what's the ingredient? rose petals, but do you see any roses around here? Elvia, I have that! You do, give it to me! Oh my gosh, ah! Stay calm. Here. And did you keep the potion bottle from earlier? I knew it would come in handy. It's right here. I've been studying potions. I would have my own natural medicine and potion shop back home. It's really not the time for this. Make the potion. Yeah, listening. Doing it. There we go. Haven. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Oh, no, I'm not. It's on my bed, but the potion must have not fully kicked in yet. It'll kick in soon, this shouldn't affect with the potion too much. But I hope you're okay. Ducks are very dangerous. That's what everyone's been warning me about. Can they do worse? You saw the flames. Imagine all 50 of them. Good thing we only found one. I'll just ignore my foot. Now let's go find those ducks. Did you happen to see where it went? No, but we can look around. It'll be fine. Yeah, you take the map, I'll get the potion. I don't want you to hurt yourself. Be careful. I'll be fine. Don't worry about me. The map's in my bag. Okay, good. Luckily, none of the potion spilled. Opportunity to use the potion. Here goes nothing. Thank you, you saved me. It works, it works. Haven! Oh! Haven! This was a mistake, Elvia. We have to go now. Reverse the spell! I don't see what the problem is. I healed the ducks. This was the mission we were sent on. That's my mother. What? I haven't seen you since I got transformed. I've been transformed for years, but time hasn't gone for me. So the pet I knew in Sunset Masquerade, it wasn't you? I don't know what you're talking about. So, this whole time, the pet, whoever I'm thinking of, it wasn't you? It was just... 
who was it then? Um, I, I, don't, I don't know. So that's a bit suspicious. You need to catch me up on everything that's happened since. I got transformed right after you were born. This makes me so happy. Oh, I've missed you. I looked around your village because I wanted to see you, but whatever I was thinking, it didn't get listened to. What do you mean? The dark magic, it controlled me. It was like I was being brainwashed. There was no way I could talk to you because deaths don't speak our language and, like I said, I had no control. We don't have to focus on the past. We just need to focus on now. Here we go again. Who's that? Your father. Hi, Haven. I... I never expected any of this. Neither. You must feel so relieved. When you were sleeping at the village, Leif told me a bit about your past. He what? Is he going to tell everyone about this now? No, I'm just his best friend, and you can trust me. He wouldn't tell anyone else. Good. Dad! The amount of times I've thought this moment over and thought about what I would say, but I just want to say how proud I am for making a life of your own at Acorn Bishop. This day is full of surprises. I never expected I'd hear any of those words out of your mouth. Well, who I thought you were. Sorry to break the moment up, but we need to head back to Green Oria as soon as possible. You can come back to the village with us. Thank you for everything that you've done for us. It's so great to be reunited properly. What's wrong? Don't you think it's a little strange how easy it was? Like, everyone was warning us about how dangerous the creatures were, and we just did it. Don't be too loud, they might tell the Queen. They probably can't even hear us, but... But does not one part of you think this was a bit suspicious? Maybe a little, but I've never done anything like this before. But you're just being negative. Maybe be proud of yourself. We finished the mission, and you can go back and tell Master Grey how you healed the deaths. Healed the deaths. You are guaranteed to be a warrior with that kind of outcome. I found who my parents really are, and I'm gonna become a warrior. Let's go tell the queen. I hope you guys are here to tell me that you finished the mission. And who are the pits behind you? No, it's okay, these are the deaths but we transformed them back into who they really were. My parents. Wow, how did you do that? That story's for another day. We've got to go find the queen. This is just, wow, I am so impressed with your findings. We've been brainwashed for years. Yes, we have thoughts of our own, but that doesn't control what we actually do with them. That is very interesting. I'm pleased that the spell is reversible, though. And I think it is best that we put the past behind us and what happened at the time. It was out of your control after all. I am open to you becoming citizens of Green Aurea. We will be honoured. It's easy enough to go visit Haven down at Acorn Bishop any time. Haven, you have to come back and visit. You have to. You have no choice. Your room will always be available to stay in here at the kingdom. I had the best sleep of my life in that bed. I've got to come back. You have to come visit my village too, you know. Of course! You say goodbyes to other people around here. <laughs> it was nice getting to know you, Haven. You too, and your unexpected appearance in the mission. Well, it kind of helped, I guess. <laughs> oh, I carried that mission. You've got to admit that. I don't know about that. <laughs> don't forget me, okay? How could I forget you? <laughs> well, you're busy. Yeah, but you know I'm planning to relocate. Oh, where to? You never told me about this. Well, you don't know everything about me yet. Mm, I'm unsure. I haven't decided yet. But I just want to see more of this world. Yeah, I get that. Well, I've got to get going. Angelique! Come with you 
for a bit. I'll meet you there soon. I guess this is goodbye, Haven. See you around. I guess it is. Bye, then. Master Grey, you will not believe what me and Elvia discovered. The deaths! They're pets! Please explain. They're pets, just like us. They were under a dark magic spell. I am unsure who cast the spell, but I'm sure with a bit of research we can find out and make sure this never happens again. Haven, this is incredible. I do have one thing to tell you. Yes? I was one of the warriors who fought in Emperspell Grove against the deaths. I know that it was 50 years ago, but it's still a weight on my shoulders. How I could not save the people of Green Warrior. I was informed about the battle and how we were a part of it. You were? I even went to Impsvel Grove with the princess and one of the guards. You did what you could at the time. You can't do any better than that. That is why you were sent, because I could not face the memories it brought back. Me and Queen Bluebell fought alongside each other, as our villages were in alliances. Were you the emperor of this village? Long ago before I retired, I decided I wanted to train the warriors in this village. I've been learning a lot about you these past few days. Anyways, I am very proud of you because you realized it's not always about getting rid of the problem. Sometimes it's about looking deeper, past what everyone else sees as a problem, and figuring out what actually created it. In this case, everyone looks at the outside of what the dusts look like and how they're unknown and that scares them. And this whole time we were trying to fight the battle they were bringing, they were facing a battle of their own, inside, escaping the thoughts that are brainwashing them, and becoming who they really are. After all, thoughts aren't who you are. You only have them to make sense of the world, and of course what they used to be used for was to keep you safe, and we no longer live in those cave pet days. Remember that, use your thoughts to your advantage. You're very wise, Master Grey. And I expect my friends are worried sick about if I returned or not, so I'd better get going. You get on your way, Haven. Haven, you're back! Tell me all about it. Well, long story short... Is <sighs> there were these creatures I had to find that I was instructed not to tell anyone because, well, that would create fear, obviously. Well, did you get rid of them? What did you do? Excuse me, I'm trying to buy flowers? Oh, I'll just be one second. Anyways, I was sent to this place called Greenoria. You're probably familiar. And I met the queen and the princess. They're lovely, by the way. You met royalty? Crazy, I know. Anyways, me and Elvia, you know as in Princess Elvia, we located these creatures and we found out they're pets just like us. Plot twist. Oh my goodness, where are they now? Back with my last bit of patience, can you guys hurry up? Sorry, I'm almost done. They were put under a dark magic spell. I have no idea who created the spell. So I've got to figure that out. That's mysterious. Oh, that's my mom over there. Your mom? You've never talked to me about her. Oh, I forgot to mention a very important part. The creatures that were turned into darts? Yeah, they were my parents. It sounds like you were destined to be on this mission. That's insane. I should go introduce you guys. Maybe in a minute though. Is this spell supposed to have side effects that you transformed her back? Because she's terrifying. That is so rude, Saga. You've never said anything like that. to go saga finally it's about time now can i get peonies delivered what's happening um don't worry i'll be back in a few days if it's another one of your missions you better catch me up on it and stay safe of course this one just got serious i better get some discount on this or else i'm leaving he thinks he i completed like my first ever mission, mission. mission. And, and I don't want him to think I couldn't do it properly. Do it properly.
I wonder why she came. I know she'll figure it out. Elvia, I can't bring in a letter for you. A letter? I'm not expecting any mail. I am unsure on who it's from. Thank you. You may leave now. As you wish, princess. We have a bigger problem than we ever planned on. I cannot tell you the information in this letter. At the chance that this letter has been read by the Red Bible Coven, but you need to come to a Bishop immediately. It's to do with the darts. All I can say is that who we thought they were, they were just pretending. Sincerely, Haven. I've got to go see this letter now. Leaf, can you do me a favour? Depends what it is, why? You need a couple for me. severely unwell and I went to go find the best medicine possible. You haven't asked me for a favour like this since we were kids. What's going on? Haven has discovered that the deaths are more dangerous than we think and I have to leave immediately. Your mum will understand. Didn't she let you go on the first mission after all? It was hard enough arguing with her to let me go on that mission. I don't want to do that again and she'll of course say no because she'll think it's too dangerous for me. Well... I don't want to say that she's right, but- Are you seriously agreeing with her, Leaf? I thought you were on my side. I'm not agreeing with her exactly, but I'm not sure this is the best idea. What if you both get hurt and start another battle? We don't want what happened at Emberspell Grove to happen again here. We simply can't afford it anymore. Well, we have to try keep our lamb safe. We worked hard to get here, and what kind of pits would we look like if we just abandoned it? Sometimes there's a big risk, but the reward is bigger. I don't agree with this, but when will you be back? I don't know, but you've just got to trust me on this one. I've got to go now. Stay away from my village. Master Grey, you're never out in the village at this time. Just going for a stroll. It's nice to be grounded in nature, you know, after the big defeat today. I need to process a lot. Your voice sounds croaky. Are you unwell? Oh, you know the weather. Well, is someone troubling you? You know me too well. I don't want you to be disappointed in me. 
But I didn't finish the mission properly. But what do you mean? You know how much was riding on this haven. I know, I know. Believe me, I don't want to be in this position. But the deaths aren't who we thought they were. They're shapeshifters. We didn't cure them. That, that is impossible. I have studied their DNA. DNA. If you knew their DNA, why didn't you tell me the origin of their dark magic? Or you didn't tell me where they were? I had to go to Green Oreo. Well, if I told you, would you really be learning? You really went out of your way then. I don't know what to say. I really appreciate you helping me become a warrior. But please, next time, tell me the truth. I don't need to go on a wild goose chase. I was genuinely worried. Well, yes, you're a warrior now, aren't you? And what are you doing out here? Are you saying I finished my warrior training? And it doesn't matter, you know, related to the death stuff, but obviously that doesn't matter anymore. Well, we should both go home now. It was nice seeing you, Nathan. I've been warned to stay away. Well done. Excuse me, could you point me in the direction of someone called Haven's home? She has told me she does not want to see you. What do you mean? She wrote me a letter. Do you not understand? Oh, I know her very well. And I know that she does not want to see you. It is obviously a false alarm. Elvia, I knew you'd show up at some point. Oh, I see you've met Saga. If she was trying to tell me that you didn't want to see me, is that true? Why did you bother to send a letter? I never said any of that. Saga, what are you talking about? Oh, my bad. I must have got the story confused. Don't worry, Saga knows everything. You can trust her. Oh good, it's nice knowing we have someone on the inside that we can trust. Obviously. And I swear under the dark, there is nothing to be afraid of. You see the transforming? They do that out of habit because of the dark magic. It's a side effect. I never told you about the transforming. How did you know? I might not be a warrior like you, Haven, but I do have common sense. Are you alright, Saka? You also sound unwell. Oh, there's just a cold spring around the village. And I don't think there's anything to worry about the deaths. Well, let's just go home. I think we should still investigate this. You should stay here and see if there's any other deaths that appear. Find a way to alert us if there's any danger here, and we'll come back as soon as possible. What? You're new to the whole warrior thing, and I don't want you to get hurt. Just protect yourself. Let's go. We have to be sure. Part two to our adventure? This is because it's harder than we thought.